Byproduct of Divorce number 87, The Laundromat. This guy is folding his socks by the front loaders. His tattoos read like restraining orders. All the names are on neighborhood watch lists, and he looks like he's been crying. He does a poor job ignoring the sorority sister, turning her white panties pink and giggling into a phone. Mom may have scrimped and pinched her into college, but it's daddy's money dressing her now. They tell everyone how much everything costs. I hold the door open for myself and my basket and soap, feeling the way a house feels after the inside has been wrecked by a storm or the water's gone down after a flood. I resist the urge to throw it all away, but everything I own is unclean. A young boy sits down next to me on the year-old magazine strewn bench. His mother has him in her eye. She is waiting for his misbehavior. She needs him to act up. He says he doesn't have a daddy as if it's still news to him. His life broken down into desires and what he has or has not. Ice cream, PlayStation, enough space to run. He is just old enough to take steps towards satisfaction. Quarters, detergent, cold, cold, don't overload, then dry, fluff and fold, and ding, clean sheets as warm and soft as cookies right from the oven. Everybody likes sliding between clean sheets. But Mama tells him not to bother me. He's reading, she says. It's okay, but she orders him to her side anyway. He jumps up and runs and nearly makes it to the parking lot with an empty laundry cart. All he wants is to get closer to the gull-winged hoopty parked at the audio shop over there. He takes his belt off so his shorts droop like the big boy's pants do, his Spider-Man flip-flops slapping his feet in time with the beat of ludicrous vibrating windows from across the street. It's a song he says Mama likes, and he knows all the words, but Mama doesn't smile. Far away from her is where he says he's going, pushing that cart all the way. She thinks he'll never get there, not in that. But he is already there, and next time he won't come back.